Good morning and welcome to the mat. Welcome to your practice. Find any comfortable seats that you can find after a moment a relative stillness in. I'm gonna invite you to bring a little bit of movement in as we begin here. It is a almost dark moon day, just the last sliver of the waning moon. You know, when it's there on the left hand, it's when it's waning, it's going inward. So you can watch that little last sliver just kind of fade in the next day and tomorrow night will be barely perceptible. And with this, the waters of uh, this part of our earth get lower and our energy can get a little lower. We can feel a little heavier. It's also moving into a great weekend for planting things because it's a rooting energy. So that works for plants, it works for us. Just this energy of rooting, of wanting to draw down into the earth and be more grounded. So our practice today will, I think, look a little more like that. Sometimes the muse takes over, but my intention is to focus on the upper back, neck, shoulders, and uh, a standing flow that really helps us to feel grounded, steady, at ease in our strength, in our resilience, in our openness, or that rootedness that gives the foundation for openness to all of the new that may be coming to you this spring, this year. So let's begin first just connecting movement with breath. And I invite you, especially if there's anything acute going on in there to, that may not feel so cute, to just move very gently. So even you might notice that as you inhale, there's like a little lift of everything. And as you exhale, there's a softening. And I want you to just begin to exaggerate that very slowly. So not thinking mechanical movement, yoga movement, shoulder rolls, not thinking about what it is, but just, inquisitive, intuitive sensing, breathing in and encouraging the shoulders to just lift a little bit, scapula sliding up and down. And maybe that Inhale gets deeper and fuller and the lift gets a little more and maybe the exhale gets a little more complete and the shoulders slide down more. Just curious, rise and fall of breath. Rise and fall of shoulders in a gentle, inquisitive way. might begin to welcome those exhales out the mouth and add a little bit of extension of that exhale with some sound or vibration. Uh, uh, Just a few breaths more in this way. Of course, you can always circle or stretch the jaw with that at any point and really see if you can feel into that connection of jaw, neck, and shoulder. Continue with just that as you like, or I want to invite you uh, a little more to move forward and backwards. So as you exhale, caving in a bit. So of course, the navel pulls back and we contract a bit on our exhale, but just beginning to exaggerate that shoulders forward of the chest, navel pulls back. And as you inhale, this could be very small. Of course, I almost went into as big as we usually do it because I'm also used to really big movements, but sometimes the very small movements can have so much more information with them and really just slowing down and feeling into those small movements. So just inhale shoulders on the back and exhale shoulders forward. Finding that slide and where the ease is, where the stickiness or challenge is, where it's tight. 
And then of course, noticing those subtle trigger points where there is intensity of sensation if by chance you are dealing with that today. And stay with that as much as you like. As inspired, I invite you to add more of the spine in by pushing on your thighs and pulling the navel back and curling in and pulling on your thighs as you inhale and shoulders on the back and arching open. Slowly breathe to whatever breathful edge of shoulder movements or closing and opening is inspired for you. Uh, again, you might begin to add some sound to that and really extend the exhale as much as you can, which will make room for a bigger inhale. Please stay with that as you like or as inspired. Inhale, lift up, squeeze the shoulders on the back, pull them down and roll them forward. So we're connecting all those four directions now that we visited um, with some nice shoulder rolls that might incidentally bring waves of movement through your spine. Let it be the breath that leads this, like you're just a seaweed spine underwater riding the waves, in this case of your breath. You might add your jaw into that again, really notice the connection of jaw, neck and shoulders. At any point, you could switch directions of your circling. And stay with that as you like or we'll begin to get into a different movement of the shoulders and the arms with that. As you inhale, reach the arms up. And again, to go very slow and steady, long, long inhale. Notice where it starts to squeeze or pinch or where things get feeling heavy and resistant. And just moving with the breath, your exhale floats the arms back down. So now kind of like a, um, helium fed balloon creature here, if you will. Inhaling, you're filling up and exhaling slow and steady, floating down. If there is stickiness in the shoulders, you might also play with rolling the hands back as you come down and slowly rolling the hands open, open, open and back in the other direction as you come up. That can sometimes make more space, the thumbs pointing behind you um, in the shoulders to help them lift up and hands down, spiraling in and back and following your breath. Full rotation in the shoulders, spiraling, movement with breath. Let's just go a couple more times. And 
and then hands down neck alongside of you. Next time you come down, take your time and push down into the earth to lift up through your heart. Really activate into your fingertips. Inhale, tall spine, keep the heart lifted. And as you exhale, reach the right ear over to the right shoulder. Ah, let the jaw go. Stay there or maybe a nod, just little gentle nods. Again, finding your edge. Chin towards that left shoulder, uh, soft jaw. Really press down into the earth through those left fingers. And right hand can walk as wide as you like now as we're gonna keep that action of pushing down through the left fingers, but lift the hand up. Find the spot where there's the most sensation in your neck shoulder connection there. And then we're gonna roll again through the hand, thereby through your shoulder. And you can roll the head with that also looking down. Very slowly again, not mechanical movement, but investigative. Maybe it's just a very small range of motion. Maybe you're binding the edges there. Uh, I love when one or more of you all have something that I then end up leading to try to serve you. And I'm like, oh, I need this. <laughs> it's so good. So thank you right now. I don't know I needed this, but here it is. Uh, please stay with that side as you like or pull from that hand, keep the head heavy and slowly come up back to center, push down into the earth, shoulders on the back, lift your head, lift your heart. Keep that heart lifted and let your left ear get heavy, slow, slow, slow and steady towards that left shoulder, push and reach down into the earth as much as you can through those right fingers, soft jaw. And then as you like, begin to nod, chin at an angle there towards your right shoulder, head, points past, crown of the head, points past your left knee. And at any point, you could slide a little further over with that left hand, pulling that right hand up and keep reaching like you're reaching into the earth. And then again, rotations. Hand and shoulder full circle. At any point, add the head. Ah. Uh. And please stay as you like or pull back up to sit. And then just any little movement there that feels good. Feel into the space that you made. Maybe switch the cross of the legs because we're doing that. And then come back to center in the next breath or so. Root down into the earth and inhale open wide. Gather up energetically, bring the palms together with a little pressure into the palms, center and focus sky down into the mind, mind down into your heart, push into the hands, lift your heart to the hands, shoulders on the back, sense into your heartbeat. And find any word, mantra or image that lights you up inside. Breathe your intention, your yes, what inspires you forward today. 
may all the energy and effort of our practice become that yes to life. May all of our efforts be for the greatest good. May all beings benefit. May all beings be joyous and free. Exhale and pour your breath out. Inhale your hearts, yes, if you will, with me one great om. Oh. And again, breathing into your hearts, yes, if you will, with me, this blossoming of spring, press into pinkies and thumbs and open the hands up. Imagine blossoming open your heart and mind. The sound of Hring, the Bija Mantra of the heart, healing, new beginnings, sprouting. Exhale and empty, breathe into your yes around that, and Hring. the arms up look up stretch tall and exhale flow down maybe give the wrists or shoulders or anything just a nice fluid right on the way down and let's do a little more shoulder therapy stuff so we're going to start out lying down we'll do a few things on the earth um, <clears throat> and then we'll get into a little more of a flow bring a block with you to have near you as you come to lie down and you're going to want room for the whole sweep of your arm overhead. So set yourself up in a way as you're able to be able to do that. And we're going to begin with the heels, knees, and hips making a 90 degree angle lying on our side. Bottom arm comes straight out from the shoulder, forward from the shoulder. And the block is going to come right behind your sacrum. So the block will be um, your alarm system here. It's not crucial, it's just helpful, thanks block, because what we wanna really do here is keep the knees connected. So if you didn't have the block or if you weren't paying much attention, likely the knees would come open and pull away, which is the SI joint going askew and not the spine or shoulders opening or rotating. So we wanna really keep that connection in the legs so that rotation comes through the spine and the shoulder. That's what we're working on. So keeping hips and knees squared and connected, nice strong foundation there. And then bottom hand up, palm straight out. We're gonna take the top hand and reach past that bottom hand and give some pressure into the fingertips there. And then pull back, kind of curling your fingers in, pull back along that palm and the inner arm, pull back. And this is your inhale here will be once you get the flow going here. Inhale, cross your chest, little pressure and open up to wherever your edge is there. And then come on back, curl the hand back, cross the chest, down the arm, out past the hand, reach. And then again, your inhale, pulling back. And if this takes a whole cycle of breath and there's inhale and exhale on each part, especially if you've got something acute going on, be with those critical sensations rather than trying to elongate the breath beyond your comfort zone. Otherwise, as you're able, inhale is open and exhale is closed, like so often in the practice. But more importantly, I want you to be feeling in to where the connections are that need attention. Notice where you might wanna speed through because it's uncomfortable and see if it can actually slow it down more there. Give it more breath, pause even, attention to the sensation. Sensation is communication from the body about something that's ready to move or change. So often that our biomechanics are off, off sometimes that we're holding something energetically or emotionally that's causing us to grip and that's ready to have attention and move. So curious, curious breaths here today. Let's do about four more like this. This is your lung meridian. You're also welcoming clearing of the lung meridian with this pressure and slide. And whenever we do cross body movements, especially with some touch and pressure, you're calming your nervous system. 
So a couple more breaths, mindful into what's showing up. And then take your time, please, finishing the one that you are on. And next time that you come back to your hand or reaching just past your hand, you're going to grab a piece of chalk, if you will, there. And let's draw a rainbow overhead. So as much as you can, fingertips stay connected to the earth or your chalk does. And you're drawing a big, big arch over your head and all the way open till you get in alignment with the other shoulder. That may not be true for you. So just go to where your edge is and then draw it back. And let your breath lead this movement. Inhaling, drawing big rainbow. If the arm floats a bit, that's okay. A little tightness in the shoulder. It'll likely change as we go here, or at least over time. Inhaling, opening, drawing that rainbow open, and exhaling, drawing it back. Let's go four more. Rolling the head with it is great, optional. It is optional. You don't have to roll the head with it, especially if it gets you dizzy at all. You can just keep looking wherever it feels comfortable. Really take your time. Again, maybe one more breath cycle. And then you can either flip or spin your body around to uh, the other side. Get your knees, ankles, hips all in a nice 90 degree angle. Put your alarm system in place, turn it on there, and bottom arm straight out from the shoulder. Top arm reaches past that bottom hand. <clears throat> and then as you inhale next, pull back with the little curled fingers curled in, pressure along the palm, the inner arm, cross the chest, and open, open, unfurling to wherever your edge is that you're your knees stay connected. Mm, feel that nice stretch in your spine and spiral on back, reaching past, pulling back with the pressure. Let this be so much about your breath here as much as the movement you're inhaling. Ah, sliding the fingers along that lung meridian, inspiring deeper breaths. Let's go about four more, three or four, depending where you're at. And of course, if this side's stickier and something is feeling beneficial or necessary, then do more as you like. And stay with this cross chest one as much as you like. 
or when you're ready, the next time that you reach past that bottom hand, grab yourself a piece of chalk there. Let's draw a nice rainbow overhead, staying as connected as you can, and of course, letting it float and breathe. No forcing here, just breathing to the edge and back out. And last couple of breaths in this way. We will transition. <clears throat> and please take your time. We're going to grab the block and come to uh, lying on the back. Step your feet to the earth and bring your block between your upper inner thighs. Have that short, narrow end facing you. Squeeze onto your block. We're gonna go a little more muscular action into the neck shoulders here. Getting our cervical spine in place and getting all the rest of the spine nice and fluid. So <clears throat> as you're ready here, squeeze onto your blocks. You've got the integrity of your alignment and some core strength happening. And then elbows bent at the sides, hands face each other. Elbows are in nice and close and hands are very active here, robot arms. First, keep the sacrum on the floor and press into the elbows, lift the chin, press into the center back of the head and feel how that engagement wants to puff up the chest. Likely your low ribs also pop up a bit. See if you can exhale and pull those low ribs down and try to keep the low ribs uh, connected to the ribs a little more now as you inhale press into the elbows and center back of the head puffing up the chest with the low ribs pulling down so now you'll probably really feel where you're most tight and we'll just take a few more breaths into that exhale can relax everything inhale press into elbows and shoulders and center back of the head and puff the chest up and melt it down two more You're welcome to stay with that smaller movement. So much good stuff happens there around the shoulders or you can try to keep that same action but begin to add the lower legs and the whole spine as well. As you inhale, press into heels, elbows, shoulders, head, lift your chin, keep the chin per perpendicular to the earth and exhale, ripple down, upper back, middle back, lower back, hips, follow your breath, inhale, press into all your points of contact again, lift from lower to upper, rippling up and then exhale and articulate down. Notice where there's stickiness in the spine. Again, make sure not to rush through those areas, but even pause and give them more time, more breath, welcoming fluidity in. Often where there's pain is where there's compression or inflammation. So there's less fluidity. Fluidity is key to getting a sense of ease again in our movement, in our body. <clears throat> waves of breath, waves of bridge, just two more. And next arm variation you could take from the top of the bridge or the resting point of your bridge. Bring the hands directly above the shoulders, arms straight up, and then pull your shoulder blades down the back. Plug those um, deltoids, your upper outer shoulder muscles strongly into the earth. Really root them down. Try to pull the head of the humerus, head of the arm bone down into the earth and press into your heels. Squeeze your booty, lift your chin, lift your chest with breath. 
holding steady here a few breaths. If you'd prefer, you can ripple the spine up and down again, but try to keep the head and shoulders as engaged in this way as you can. Again, the chin is lifted, so the center back of the neck or the center back of the head is pressing and your natural neck curve is engaged. Last breath or so, maybe two. Again, you could come down on the earth to switch the arms variation or just extend the arms up overhead on the floor now. And again, pull shoulder blade down the back, plug in head of that humerus, lift the chin, press into center back of the head, squeeze your block and ripple up and down or just hold at your edge another three or four breaths. Big inhale, and as you exhale, ripple down upper back, middle back, lower back and hips. Float the arms down and inhale, press in, lift up and interlace the hands behind you. Squeeze the palms together. Of course, if you can't interlace, you could hook your thumbs or squeeze onto the sides of the mat. Keep your chin lifted, pressure into the center back of the head. When you're in a full bridge, please do not turn your head to the side. Press into heel, squeeze your booty, lift your hips, press into hands, elbows, shoulders, lift the chin, press into the center back of the head and breathe, front body bright. Simply breathful or a little singing or sighing or toning here, getting more vibration, soothing for your nervous system. I'm gonna go with three long ahs, open jaw, open throat. Ah. Ah. Next, inhale, root down, lift everything up and exhale, ripple your spine down to the earth. Put your block off to the side or out of your way anyways for now. And then step your feet wide and let's just get side body so as outer hips, low massage and stretch here. Inhale as you reach the arms overhead on the floor, knees to one side. Exhale as you pull the navel back and knees through center. Inhale, reach to the side and exhale, a little pressure into those glute knees or your outer hip muscles as you roll through. Nice little massage there with the breath, side to side. Let's just go another one or two to each side, whatever you need to even out. If you don't know, it doesn't matter. We are asymmetrical beings. So it is. This nice breathful stretch out here. And then follow, <coughs> excuse me, any next exhale all the way over onto one side. Press into the top hand. Keep your neck soft as you drape up. Make your way to hands and knees. And take your time getting to hands and knees. And when you're ready, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, spread the fingers wide, wide, wide and claw the earth. Pull your hands back towards your knees, shoulder blades down the back and inhale and lift the tail, lift the crown as you drop and melt to the heart down. Exhale, lift the navel, lift the back of the heart, drop the tail and crown and just follow your breath here. Nice and fluid spine with again as much slide of the shoulders as you can find. Again, watch out for when your brain wants to go mechanical and yeah, yeah, cat cow, I know this one. <laughs> and instead, please let it be an investigative movement led by breath, breath practice really with some incidental movement. See if you can find that articulation between each of your vertebrae. And the breath um, cycle could go either way with this. Sometimes it can feel best to have that inhale, open chest, shoulders down the back, 
And this um, practice is nice with it switched up often. You can, especially if you've got stuff going on in the upper back, you can inhale into the back body, get a little more stretch there. And then exhale, just let everything melt down. Let's just go a few more, cow and cat. For a little more detoxing or energizing, you can always add that lion's breath as you curl in or open, depending which way you're doing your breath. And then let's begin to circle that. So next time that you round in, then squeeze together, ear, hip, shoulder on one side, open up into cow, ear, hip, shoulder, squeeze is on the other side, lift and round through in cat, spiraling cow and cat. And switch directions. And finish up or one more breath. And then we'll walk the knees back a bit or hands forward a bit and press your hips back and stretch out. Push hips to heels, arms out in front of you. Give your tail a little wiggle wag and breathe your lower back. Stay with that or play with pulling the palms up and coming up onto the fingertips. Lots of muscular action, pull fingertips with them very wide, pull them towards each other without moving them. So you're digging into earth hollow out the palms, hollow out with that, you're pulling the fingers back towards the knees and hollowing out your armpits. Hands aren't moving. So that pulling, when I'm saying it is an isometric action, you're really just digging into the earth, creating some muscular action that creates a stretch or opening somewhere else. Stay and play with that or any breath, float the hands down and then roll thumbs up, open, palms up and maybe keep rolling pinkies up. Feel that external rotation in your shoulders, a little stretch around the um, thoracic spine between behind the heart, between scapula, behind heart. Breathe directly into whatever sensation is. Imagine the breath going right there. To get the breath there a little more, you might engage your navel as you inhale. So the belly is not expanding too much, but you're sending the breath up and into the back body more. We actually have more breath capacity in our back body than we do in the front body. We just use it less. So whenever you're having a hard time breathing, you need to catch your breath a little more. You might even find it happens innately, forward fold and push in and bring breath into back body. Stay with that or bend, uh, bring the hands together and that could be palms or the backs of the hands. You might find a little more stretch from that and bend the elbows, bring the prayer behind the head, walk your elbows forward, get more stretch through the triceps and melt your heart down towards the earth. Uh, stay right there and breathe. Or of course, there's your hands meeting the back of your neck and meeting the tops of your shoulders. A great opportunity for a little free massage moment. You give a little squeeze to the muscles alongside the spine and pull them up on the back of the neck towards the spine. Give a little squeeze, pinch, lift of the skin away from the back of the neck and also, you could slide your side of your first finger along the top of the shoulder as you press the thumb into the back side of the shoulder, side of the thumb, and just kind of squeegee out the top of your trap muscles there. Let's take a few more breaths for any movements or massage here.
And of course, if this is a big yes for you and you want to stay here longer, please do. Otherwise, when you're ready, we'll extend the arms back out. Palms down, spread those fingers wide, claw the fingertips. Inhale as you press back and follow any exhale to lift from your navel. Come back to hands and knees, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. And let's just take shoulder rolls here. So pressing off the earth, chest drops down as the shoulders lift up towards the sky. And then press off the earth and roll the shoulders in as much circle as you can there. Again, notice your mouth. Maybe take some wow stretches through your mouth here. And see about switching directions. And then we're going to go right for those muscles in the back of the shoulder scapula connection. So right hand just beneath the center of the chest and inhale, left arm, face chest open to the sky. Exhale, we're gonna tease this in at first so swoop it under and reach across. Notice if you need to go slower or maybe not as far, inhale, open up and exhale, tease it across, reach, reach. Follow your breath, inhale, open up. And maybe on this third one here, you're ready to reach all the way across as far as you can and come onto the back side of that shoulder, back side of the head, and press into the front hand to roll open into the back of that shoulder and head as much as you can. And the front hand could stay there, pressing you into that roll open. Bring the hips right over the knees as much as you can. And then optionally, you could walk that right hand or top hand up overhead and behind you on the floor to give a little pull on the floor there and help rotate yourself more deeply. Spread the hand that you're looking at, the left hand for most of you, spread those fingers wide and push down into the back of the hand, open palm. Feel how that pressure into the back of the hand you're looking at will open behind that shoulder blade more. Add anything to this you like, last two or three breaths. Inhale and as you exhale, slide that top hand back down, push into that hand and lift up. Take pause in center and shoulder rolls or cat cow or anything there. Just again, inquisitive. Notice the difference in the sides. Notice what you did there. And then take your time. Once you're ready, left hand beneath the center of the chest and inhale, open that right arm, face chest open to the sky and exhale, swoop through, reach across body, second side. Inhale, open, looking up, exhale, reach. Let your breath lead it. Continue as long as it feels like that's more beneficial than going into the edge. And when you're ready, come on down to the back of that shoulder, back of the head. Push into the front hand and roll open. Press into the back of the back hand. Stay there or walk that top arm up. Head and give a little pull on the earth or your mat to help you roll yourself a little deeper. Hips over knees melt into that shoulder. Press into the hand. Send the breath into where it's most sticky or sensational there. Last couple of breaths here, two or three, add anything if you're inspired to, anything different that this side wants or you did on the other side. <sighs> uh, 
please stay longer if you like, or follow any breath to slide that top hand down, press in, and come back up onto all fours. Roll the shoulders. Any movements there. And when you're ready, we'll get off the hands and come down to the belly. Step your feet back, Sphinx pose. And if there's any low back stuff, especially, or again, for strong core and integration, um, you could use a block standing on its short end again between your thighs. Squeeze onto your block, real or imaginary here, and use that hug of your block and a press down through pubic bone and sacrum to find the lightness other wears. So likely you feel the spine ready to lengthen forward and to lift up a little more when that squeeze is happening on the inner thighs and that press is happening in the pubic bone and sacrum. And then use your hands and or forearms, all of it, and drag your heart forward, shoulders on the back, sphinx pose, deep full breaths. <sighs> Last breath cycle here. And inhale, drag yourself forward and lower down. Rest your forehead a moment, hands under the shoulders and just give the shoulders a nice fluid roll around there. Keep the hands very strong, fingers spread wide under the shoulders and squeeze the legs towards each other again. Push down into pubic bone and sacrum. Keep the hands where they are, but pull elbows and shoulder blades down the back. So you're gripping on the earth and pulling on the earth to slide elbows and shoulders down. And from all that rooting, lift navel, lift your heart, open up into wherever your breathful edge of cobra is. Inhale to the top, and as you exhale, melt back down. Let your breath lead, strong hands, pull elbows and shoulders back, drag yourself forward. Strong legs are squeezing towards each other and pressing into the earth. So lots of muscular action in the legs. Three more breaths, you could hold the pose or pulse in and out with the waves of your breath. Two more breaths. and then take your time, come back down. When you're ready, we're gonna open the elbows directly out from the shoulders, the whole length of the humerus or upper arm bone, and then bring the fingertips strong underneath the elbows. Again, make kind of like cages with the hands. So pull on the earth, hollow out your palms, and inhale, roll shoulders up to the ears, together on the back, and pull the elbows and shoulders down and back. Inhale, open up into your cobra variation, and exhale, spin, right shoulder towards the ground, as you turn, look over the left shoulder. Inhale, open center. Exhale, spiral, other side. Moving with your breath. Pause where you want to rush through. We're going three times each side or another couple breaths. Whatever you need to get even. And then take your time. Once you're done there, inhale, open center. And exhale, lower down. Slide the hands in. Press on back, child's pose. Hips to the heels. Reach the arms out in front of you. Again, breathe your lower back as you get a nice... Uh, counter pose here for the lower back. We squeezed it and now we're stretching it. So lots of fluidity coming in that way. Inhale, and as you exhale, I am gonna offer a little more of a muscular challenge here, um, maybe a little more cardio. So options, you could just come onto your knees and your elbows, bring the palms together and push into your palms and slide the shoulders down the back and widen them away from each other from the push into your palms and melt your heart. Here, you could just play with that and see what's there. Or you might want to interlace your hands, turn the toes under, and lift up and back, dolphin dog. And stretch back, strong, strong core. You could stay there and breathe, or walk the feet in a little further, and relax the neck, and make a tighter 
down dog there or dolphin dog. Hopefully not tighter in the shoulders, but closer feet to elbows. Relax your neck and breathe. Stay there, walk it back out when you need to, or pick up one leg, pull it to the sky as you come as light as you can onto your other toes, maybe towards your Pinchamayarasana or forearm stand, and pull up on the other leg. And maybe you do that just another one to each side, couple more breaths here. Play with that as you like, or step the feet back towards a dolphin plank. And we're gonna shuttle be between dolphin plank and dolphin dog. Optionally, you could just hold dolphin plank. Otherwise, inhale, pull back, and exhale, ripple forward. You'll feel after a pulsation or two where the feet wanna be, somewhere in between, so they can stay in one place as you pulse. Pulling back and shuttling forward. And let's go for about five, four, three, two, last one. As you come forward, walk the feet back, land the hands, pull the shoulders down the back, open up sphinx. Inhale, exhale, lower down. Hands under the shoulders, pull back. Inhale, open up, cobra. And exhale, you could move back again through child's pose or toes under, up and back, downward dog. Relax your neck, bicycle your feet and down dog. Any movements there, just a few more breaths. Keep pulling back from the core and clawing your fingertips so that your wrists are happy here. And you get more stretch out of that. Pulling back from the core, strong core strength. <sighs> strong strength, you know, that's the best kind. And then slowly, you'll begin to walk your feet forward or hands back to the feet, it's up to you. And pause in a forward fold, bend the knees as much as you need to and shake your hands out. And then shimmy your shoulders a little side to side. Relax the neck, heavy head as much as you can. Shimmy your shoulders and then maybe you begin to just swing a little bit side to side and get your hands to make circular motions. So you're drawing like figure eights with the arms here, circular motions. And if there is something really sticky around the scapula, this can be done holding light weights or like a bag of something and you do the circles and it will help to just kind of melt that. It's good for frozen shoulder stuff as well. And that could be done faster or slower. Stay with that as you like. You could hold the elbows whenever you like to and let the weight of the elbows and the hands drag again, a little release into the shoulder connection to your back. Relax the head, let the weight of the head just passively stretch out through the neck there. Knees bent as much as you need, feet very strong and active, feet hug the earth, lift your arches, lift your kneecaps, lift your quadriceps, lift your navel, use that core strength to pour yourself over the legs a little deeper. Big inhale here as you exhale, hug in, feet to earth, muscles to bones, lift your arches, keep the head and arms heavy and begin to roll up for the next two or three breaths, one vertebra at a time. Take your time to make your way to standing. And we'll pause at the top of the mat to just feel into where you're at. Feel your feet, make any little movements that feel good there. Exhale energy into the feet. Inhale, open arms, gather up. And exhale, center and focus in. Press into the palms, work the shoulders on the back, lift your hands, breathe, and repeat your yes.
If you'd like to, you could turn your mat sideways to face the screen or just um, know that we're going to do this whole next little sequence sideways. So when you're ready, hop or step wide into a wide legged stance and parallel the feet or fairly parallel and hug the earth with your feet, kind of pull them towards one another, lift those arches up, feel lots of muscular strength on the feet, inner thighs, the whole leg. And when you're ready, arms up and out. And if this is a lot on the shoulders or just cause arms up higher, it's gonna drop the shoulders down more and just see how that feels. Hug into center, muscles to bones, everything nice and strong. Breathe and repeat your yes, your intention, your I am here in this great expressive pose. Last big inhale. As you exhale, bend the right knee and pivot the toes out to the side. Virabhadrasana two, warrior two stance. Pull back from that top hand so that your torso is in line with your hips and roll the palms up here. So shoulder blades roll down. Look out over that front hand and pull that back hand and shoulder back. So you're getting as much opening across the chest and the front of the hips as you can. Couple more breaths here. See your intention your dedication, your yes. And follow any inhale into dancing back, uh, dancing warrior. Push into the back leg, lift up out of the waist with the front hand. You can look up at that top hand or down at the back foot. Inhale here as you exhale, hug the feet to the earth, lift from your arches, lift up strongly, bring your right elbow to the front thigh. Push into that thigh, elbow could stay up on it or come inside it if you wanna go a little deeper. Root into the outside of the back foot and reach from that rooting, that anchoring of the center back foot out through your fingertips, long, long side body line, deep full breaths here. Last inhale, as you exhale, pull up and push into the front leg straight, deep in the groin, reach as far forward as you can and fingertips down to shin, block or earth there, roll the shoulders down the back, slide the ears back, open your heart, Trikonasana. Breath will hear about five breaths or you could reach back and drop your bottom ear down. So back towards the back foot and drop the bottom ear down. Again, find that rotations that help release jaw, neck, shoulder connection there. Or both arms forward, last few breaths, strong core. And inhale, lift yourself back up, warrior two. Again, inhale your pose as you exhale, swoop the arms through center and turn heels in, toes out. Inhale, sink down into that. Big inhale here and swoop the arms around. Give yourself a big hug, right arm over left and pull the elbows down, ground. You're welcome to stay here. You could pulse in and out of your squat here as much as you like or spiral the arms here, eagle arms, any variation of eagle arms. And then lift elbows, face chest up and then top arm, that elbow is gonna reach cross body towards the other knee, down towards the earth, heavy, heavy arms and up and open to the other side. Walk your stance a little closer if you need to there to be stable. And let's take a couple more big circles in that direction. At the bottom or on the way back up, switch directions and three more.
and then come back up when you're ready. Unwind, open, back to Devi Asana. Sink it in, inhale, shine it out, superstar. Hug in strong, Tarasana, star pose. Breathe your intention, shine it out. Inhale, bright as you exhale, bend that left knee and pivot, knees and toes to the left, sink in, warrior two. Lift the hands as high as you like and let your shoulders relax, sink in. Look out over that front hand and pull back from the back hand so you're in line with your hips. Sink into that front knee, gaze out over the front hand, breathe and repeat your yes here. Next inhale, dancing warrior, fly that back arm back, front knee stays deep and wide, pull up out of the waist and look up towards the hand or down towards the back foot. Last big inhale or so as you exhale, hug in and let's transition. Side angle pose, press that thigh wide, lengthen the spine, anchor that back foot and reach up out of that anchor. Stay up on the thigh or down inside it as you like. Last inhale as you exhale, hug feet to earth, muscles to bones, rise up, warrior two. Inhale, straighten that front leg and reach forward and fingertips to shin block or earth tree, konasana. Scoop the shoulders down the back and lay back. Feel free to stay in classical tree, konasana or reach back towards the back foot. Roll the shoulder and the ear, letting go breaths there. And or last few breaths, both arms forward, hug in, strong core. Inhale as you exhale, pull up, heels in, toes out, swoop the arms around, sink in. Devi Asana. Last bit of our more challenging stuff. Inhale, open, exhale, big, big hug. Cross that left arm over the right and pull the elbows down, sink low. And this could be it, a big hug with a little pulsation into the legs. <sighs> Do what's right for you or <laughs> spiral your arms, eagle arms or any variation between the hug and the eagle and elbows up, shoulders down, hands away from the face. <sighs> follow your breath as you're ready. Inhale, lift your elbows to the sky. Keep those shoulders descending and follow the direction of that top elbow. Reach cross body towards the other knee, down towards the earth. Let the arms get heavy, heavy, heavy. And then up, big circle. Couple more in this direction. Your breath leads. And then take your time, switch directions, three breaths. Again, take your time, unwinding back to center and sink it in strong, fierce goddess pose here, horse stance, and then inhale, shine it out. Parallel your feet. Pull the feet together, strengthening the arches, the inseams, full body breath. Breathe and repeat your yes, I am. Imagine into that blossoming, that shining out into the world. Yay, for your new life this spring. Inhale bright as you exhale, float the arms down and interlace the hands behind you. Maybe your non-habitual clasp and pull on your hands. Squeeze the shoulders together. Draw the hands down, maybe lift the heart, come to any breathful edge of back bend. Make sure the legs and the core are very strong to support that. And you could stay and play 
with the back bend as long as you like, or inhale there, squeeze the feet, squeeze the legs, and exhale, spin your thighs back, reach your heart forward and bow in. Pull on the palms again as you come into a forward fold to squeeze the shoulders together. And then relax your neck, give your head a little nod or roll around. Keep the hands as they are at any point, float the hands down and give your shoulders a nice fluid roll around or shimmy shake out, shake your head out. Any variations with the arms that help you go a little deeper here into your forward fold. Let this forward fold be a last place to empty out or a resting place or a um, place to jump around or swim, dance side to side. We've got about five or six more breaths in the wide legged stance for however it will serve you best right now. You're welcome to stay and play with that um, shape a little longer or move through a good old fashioned vinyasa and um, take anything on the way there. So anything in the forward fold or move through a vinyasa and we'll make our way to lying on the back and wind our practice down. And take your time. When you're ready, we're gonna lie onto the back body, hug the knees into the chest, and just give a little rock into the back body. A little massage. Grounding. <sighs> Please stay with that as you like, or make your way into any twist. So maybe bring both legs to one side, bend or straight, ease that top thigh down. If you'd like more stretchiness here, maybe straighten that top leg and hold on to the leg wherever you're able to. Maybe you bend the top knee, uh, bottom knee and reach down for that ankle or foot and then kick through both feet, kick, kick through them, lift your head and turn as far as you can looking away from the top leg. Press from your more rooted shoulder in any twist, cross body into your other shoulder. Come as far as you can onto that ear and deepen and lengthen your breath here, like rinse water breaths, just washing out, letting go breaths. And if something is just beginning to move or change here, please stay with that. Or as you slide back, cross ankle over knee, interlace the hands behind the bottom thigh and pull the bottom thigh in as you ease the top thigh away. And just about five breaths here, grounding again, low back and breathing, outer hip. Self jaw and tongue. Please stay with that as you like. When you're done, unwind and take both knees over to your other side. And then maybe extend in the top leg forward and bend the bottom knee, reach back for that or down for that bottom foot. Kick through both feet. Find whatever variation of twist is right for you. If you're going in this one, twisted root, it's called bottom knee bent top leg straight or straightish and kick through both feet, 
lift and lengthen the spine and roll as far as you can onto the side of the head or ear, looking away from the top leg. Whatever twist you're in, press from your more rooted shoulder, cross body into the other one and breathe your breath uh, like rinse water through your spine. Uh, last breath or two here. Oh, please listen to your body and stay as long as your body asks you to. When you're ready, as you come to slide out, bend both knees, cross that left ankle or second side ankle over knee. Flex the foot, interlace the hands behind the bottom thigh and pull that bottom thigh back as you ease the top one away. The top ankle is straight and strong. Jaw is soft. Deep and full. Breathe your hip there. Breathe wherever sensation is arising there. <sighs> Any variations, last two or three breaths. And play with that shape as you like. Once you feel complete there, happy baby. And any movements or variations in happy baby or listening, what's your happy baby asking for right now? Are there any other last movements or shapes that you need before final resting or any props or support that you would like for your final resting? And I'm gonna invite you into either a supported final resting, shavasana, or a meditative seat, during which I will kindly, gently, slowly depart from you as um, I'm still <laughs> trying to adjust to making our Fridays a little shorter so I can teach my new um, corporate class on Friday at noon, um, which is in nine minutes. So get yourself set up for any shape that feels supported, where you can be relatively still. And as you come into that shape, inhale and hug, hug, hug muscles to bones and exhale, uh, melt, melt, melt. Inhale like a big energetic hug, seek out any busyness or tension and squeeze it, squeeze it, inhale, inhale, hold it, hold it, exaggerate it. And then exhale, melt, 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 let go. Give your body to the earth. Open your heart and mind to the sky. Let your muscles and bones be heavy soft, held, melt, and simply observe the natural flow of life, of breath, receiving, letting go without any efforting. Every breath cycle, our teacher, what it is to let go that we may receive, to receive so fully that we have so much to give back. Rest and witness your breath. In the same way that you witness your breath, notice the rise and fall of thought perception, needing to do anything about it, just notice. And rest in spacious awareness. Stay in this restfulness as long as the breath desires. Whenever you're ready to come back, may it be by the way of the breath observing it, deepening it, moving with intention 
out into your day. Namaste. Namago. Blessings to you. Enjoy your day. Drink lots of water. Hope to see you soon.